2003. I think it was that year when Dipset ended up joining Rockefeller? Um, yeah, it might have been. It was around that time. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I interviewed Jewels not too long ago. Yeah. And we talked about sort of the tension between Jay and Cameron. And the way he described it is that Jay and Cam kind of had a funny relationship. It wasn't really beef. It was just the two of them just didn't really get along. They had like a, a funny relationship. You know what I mean? With them being, they never, they never really clicked and meshed to it. It was like, it felt like we were truly Rockefeller artists, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Dame always showed us that, that love and that, you know what I'm saying? But besides that, like, you know, we were cool, stay proppy. We just never felt like we were like truly welcome over there. Like we felt like the outcasts of the family. You know what I'm saying? From your point of view, what, how would you uh, explain that? I mean, I don't know what it was. It was, it was, it was weird because we fucked with Dipset. And that shit just kind of like hinder a lot of like relationships. Like, man, get state property and dipset under the same roof. It was too much shit. Like, if if that relationship wasn't funny, shit, you probably got a whole another straight ten year run. You the two biggest. At that time, like, it was just crazy, man. Right, because Cameron was on fire. Hey, Ma. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, th that first album, was it, was it Take Me Home? Like, was, was yeah. platinum. But but I remember, I remember I interviewed Petey Crack about this. Was mad, man. He was salty about that. Because well, Crack's. Yeah. Well, well Petey Crack had a song well, I guess one for Petey Crack, right? One of his big songs yeah. had a Cameron verse on it. Jay deleted the Cameron verse. That was one for Petey? I think so. And then I guess I Petey said he played the song for you yeah. with the Cameron verse. And he pulled the CD out and broke it in half. I played the shit on the airplane. That's when we had little disc mans and shit. Mm -hmm. I played the whole way to Cali. And I get there and the whole state P is already there. You know what I'm saying? So I go, I go up to their room and shit. They all in one room playing a game, smoking and shit. I'm still excited again. I pull the CD out. I'm like, hey, Beans, look. This is joint I did, man. Check this shit out. I threw the CD in the um, deck. And I press play. And the same shit, when it, when it got up to camera part, this nigga Mac stand up and go walk over to the CD player, kindly ejected that shit and broke it in half and threw it in the trash. Like, yo, get the shit out of here. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? I don't know if it went down like that. Crack okay. be having crazy. <laughs> crack crazy, man. <laughs> I think I heard that story, though. Okay. But, but crack, I mean. It ain't go down like, like that's how it was, I guess. But, but there was tension. Yeah. Over, was, over that situation. Yeah, but that wasn't our business, though. Yeah. And that's what it was fucked up. But Jay did take Cameron's verse off of and the PD song. And Jay didn't want... <laughs> that's what I'm saying. This shit was... Jay didn't want... Put it like this. I'm going to say this. Jay didn't want that CD to get leaked. And I'm going to leave it alone. Okay. So it wasn't like I just took it and broke it and no, all, because I already know the relationship that that Petey had. Like we really bang with them. I mean, to the point like we in the studio and crack disappeared. He running around with Henny Loke and them. He out with Jewels and them. They they in the hood somewhere, mm. and that's what was dope about it. Like the relationships that was. That was about to, you know, that whatever they had for me, that stopped a lot of records being made with each other and all that. Yeah. It was whack. 